I've started doing some research to demonstrate Ayana Koji's behavior. I've read many psychology books, and I'm telling you, it will improve your character and your life stupendously. The author built Ayana Koji's character and personality upon many psychological books and philosophies, like The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene, and he literally used every law with perfection. Now let's list some of these behaviors that you've seen in the anime and the light novel. He always talks less than necessary. I've never seen him call someone just to talk. He only talks when it's necessary, or there's an objective behind it. The less you talk, the more powerful you appear, and the more focused and observant you become. The more you talk, the more probability you will leak or say something stupid. He always talks in other person's interest, and this is very powerful if you master it. This skill is from How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. He knows what makes people tick. I've never seen him say he wanted something. He's always looking out for what the other person wants. And then he connects the puzzle pieces, just like in Volume 9 when he used Ryuan points with someone else. I can't say more. I don't want to spoil it. He won both of their favors without costing him anything. He always makes people reach their own conclusions when he's helping them solve their problems. He doesn't directly advise them or tell them what to do, just like the scene in Episode 6 when Sudo fought with Class C members. To solve this problem, he hinted to Horikita that there might have been cameras. This is a very powerful skill. People don't like to take advice directly because it makes them look stupid. They want to reach the conclusion on their own. By the way, many leaders use this technique. You can win them over, and sometimes you can guide them to where you want them to be. He never brags or tries to impress others. Scientifically, people who brag win nothing but the envy and hatred of others. Subconsciously, it tells others that they have low self-esteem, which is why they brag. The more you try to impress people, the more inexperienced you appear. That's why Ayana Koji looks very modest and humble in his interactions. Even when someone praises him, he doesn't brag about it and just says it's like no big deal. He never talks about himself or his past or his life. That's why he always looks so mysterious and very attractive to the other girls. He is the master of his emotion. The quickest way to reach power is by mastering your emotion. He is unreactive. That's why his enemies can't steal any information from him because of his poker face. Normally, the strong foes always try to intimidate others in order to make people react to them so they can read them easily. He always surrenders the credits to others. That's why people trust him more. I'm telling you guys, many of the leaders in our world use these techniques to command power and authority. You can master them. It's possible. That's what happened with Ayana Koji in the White Room. They taught him these skills and techniques at a very early age. He's like a self-made, high intellectual sociopath. That's why, in general, psychopaths, sociopaths, appear charming and trustful because they have mastered the art of human behavior and they can predict people's next move. Just like in Volume 4, when Ayano intimidated Kay in the ship, knowingly he would reach his objective by using an experimental technique he read in a psychology book, and it worked. It's not rocket science. He studied these things in the White Room from a psychology book that was released in 1950 or something. He simply acted on its instructions. Lastly, the difference between the white room and ordinary schools is that normal schools focus on academic ability and the white room focuses on human behavior and psychology. That's why the advanced nurturing high school is copying some of the white room studies by inventing special exams which focus on communication, leadership. That's why you can't survive only on academic abilities, as you have seen in the light novel. There are very few exams concentrated on academic skills. We can also become the future white room students by studying Ayana Koji's God mentality and what he went through to become the person he is now.